Good morning, everyone. My name is Karen Marian Vigas. Today, we will learn and discover another lesson to adapt to your knowledge through a lecture. Let's begin! In school, there are two types of students with regards to being active and passive in participating in school events and activities. Whether you are the active one or the passive one, it is okay, so long as you enjoy yourself doing what you want. Just like students, sentences also can either be active and passive. Passive sentences can also be altered to become active sentences. With that, this morning, we will discuss about rules in changing sentences from active to passive form. Let us first unlock the terms active and passive voices. Active voice. The subject does the action in the sentence. For example, the dog bites the policeman. The subject in the sentence is the dog and it bites the policeman, making it the one performing the action in the sentence. Passive voice. The subject is the one being acted upon and not the doer of the action in the sentence. For example, the policeman is bitten by the dog. The subject in the sentence is the policeman, which does not do the action in the sentence, but is the one being acted upon. Now, in changing sentences from active to passive form, there are only four rules to follow. First rule, the place of the subject and object are interchanged. The object shifts to the place of the subject, and subject shifts to the place of the object in passive voice. We have here an active sentence. I write a letter. The subject in the sentence is I, and the object is a letter. The only thing that we should do with the subject and object in the sentence is to interchange their placement. So the object, a letter, must be in the subject part while the subject I must be placed in the object part of the active sentence. A letter blank I. Because the subject is I, it becomes the object in the passive form. It should be changed to me.